Allah's name the Heavenly Father, it means He is Yahweh Shai. His name is Matthew 24, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Let's get that real quick. And many shall be offended. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because of the iniquity, because, and because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for all to witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Let's see. If we go back to endure, maybe. What did I have? Same shall be saved. Had. Uh, Mark thirteen thirteen, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Um, what is it? Don't let anyone steal your crown. Take. I can't remember if it's take. Behold, Revelation, John 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Just trying to build up some precepts here so I can go into it. Amos 9 and 9. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations like corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. That is, the grain is the thing that you want to keep, right? So when uh, when uh, the, the Lord is sifting, he's trying to short separate the chaff or the tares or the wheat from the chaff. And he's saying not one person of value to him will fall when he's sifting. He's not going to... He ain't gonna get caught up with somebody, and because you're nearby them or anything, you you will sift the good from the bad easily, each and every time. Luke twenty two and thirty one, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Isaiah thirty and twenty eight, and in his breath. As an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to the sift the nations with a sieve of vanity, and there shall be a bridle in the jaws of people causing them to err. Uh, so, at the moment, you know, there's been a lot of sifting there. And, uh, you know, we're called to endure, you know. You may fall down, you may make a mistake, you may mess up. I've messed up plenty of times. You know, but the the point is to endure and to get back up. You know, there's a I can't remember whether it was the Apostle Paul who was in the in the dungeon and Acts, and the angel came to him and <laughs> slapped him on the head and told him to get up. Or when uh, I think there was one um, 
I think it was Jezebel that got one of the prophets shook and the Lord and he and he went and hid for his life. And the angel came to him in the cave and told him to get his act together and get back up and get back in the game, you know. And sometimes when you mess up, because I know that I sometimes I feel this way, it's, it feels like you don't want to get up. You don't want. You just want to give up. It's so hard. It's so embarrassing. Getting up and starting again after you done screwed up. <laughs> Galatians 5 and 17 For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to the one to another so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not the liberty for occasion to the flesh but to lo by love to serve one another. Galatians 4 and 13, you know how the through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at first. Galatians 2 and 20, I am crucified with Christ, neither let, nevertheless I live, yet not I live Christ, but yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me.
I think I'm going to shut off the, if you live after the flesh, you shall die, but if you live for the spirit, through the spirit, do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live, therefore, Romans 8 and 12, therefore, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh, just, we are just in this continual battle, and Job, um, that's a line, you know, but we're in a time of another time of sifting, you know, and it is getting more intense. We just gotta keep going. If you if you screw up, if you mess up, just get back up. You know. scripture I want oh. job one and eight now the day was the sons of God came to the present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, When thou come, then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? So Satan's job, you know, he came to give his report, but his job is like, like a, you know, a bottom feeder basically he comes around sweeping up all the rubbish picking off all the chaff you know and uh, even he has to go before the Lord and report on what he's found he's not the enemy of God he's, he's got a job to do which is to sweep up all them people that have fallen off that have gone off so we have to keep trying, keep our faith. And if we mess up, don't allow yourself to get sifted, you know what I mean? Even if you do get sifted, don't go down without a fight. We have to endure to the end. With that, I'll say shalom.